9-6, lot 38. This is Piranha. Uh, back on that Crack and Ribs sow. Crack and Ribs was a boar that was at Heimer's and ended up at uh, Schaefer's Gold Rush. Uh, back on Bomb Squad. This is the same dam as the reserve barrow there at Columbus that uh, I thought was a very unique red barrow. Very unique. Uh, back in the fifth overall, the Gosser big was darn good. That, oh. that was a heck of a pair of barrows. It was. Barrows. And, and it just I think you can just look in the ring right now and, and notice that tone or that just – it's not over overshaped. It's just perfectly shaped. I guess when you go to her top shape, she's got some squareness off her loin edge. And she's not that uh, what I call a prototypical or, or sometimes they don't have any top. It's just kind of oddly there. This thing squares off when she goes to the top shape on her. Uh, again, we're looking at them as seed stock. Maybe they go out as market stock. I mean, there's there's the whole winter circuit here in Ohio that uh, will allow them to show in the market side. But again, it, it, Chad hits it so many good, so good as he says, you know, this is genetic opportunity in front of us. Yeah, and 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 stuff that is one, uh, you, you know, there it, there's so much to be said about something that's proven and and hogs that have won. Um, and like I said, you, you can trace back here over the last three, four years in the amount of red banners that these guys have hung. And there's a, a neat opportunity to grab a, a, a red gilt here that, uh, you know, hey, if you're, you're a show dad that, that's got uh, some sows around and you want a good uh, show pig for your kid to, to, to show up here in our part of the world all winter, uh, you know, maybe your end point is, is uh, Perry, Georgia, and then, and then you end up breeding her to have a litter of pigs yourself. I mean, this one fits that bill to a T. 9-6, lot 38, uh, Piranha Gilt. 